Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, I'll be covering how to customize system-wide crypto policies, which is a new feature in RHEL 8.2. For a general overview of system-wide crypto policies, see my previous video on the topic. There are two ways that system-wide crypto policies can be customized. The first method is creating a policy modifier, and the other method is creating an entire custom policy. Both methods will be covered in this video. Well, first, an example of a policy modifier. We'll start by showing that the system is currently using the default policy. We'll then connect over SSH to the local host and we'll specify we'd like SSH to use the SHA-1 MAC. And you can see that this is allowed because the default policy allows the SHA-1 MAC algorithm. In this example, we'd like to create a policy modifier to make the default policy no longer allow the SHA-1 MAC. So what we'll do is we'll create a new file under Etsy Crypto Policies, Policies, Modules, and we'll call it no SHA-1 MAC.pmod and within the file we'll put MAC equals minus HMAC dash SHA-1. The minus indicates that the HMAC SHA-1 should be removed from the base policy. We'll then enable the default policy and specify that we'd like to use the no SHA-1 MAC policy modifier that we just created using the update crypto policies command. Normally after you change the crypto policy you'd want to reboot the server, however in this example we're just going to only restart the SSHD process. We'll then go ahead and rerun the same exact SSH command that we previously ran and was successful. And you can see at this point that the command is now failing due to the fact that we enabled a custom policy modifier that disabled the SHA-1 MAC algorithm. Okay, for the next example we're going to switch the crypto policy back to default and then we're going to go ahead and install the HTTPD and mod SSL packages so that we can have a web server on here to work with. Once that's installed, we'll go ahead and start Apache with systemctl. And then next what we'll do is we'll run a curl command and specify we'd like to connect to the local host using TLS 1.1. You can see that this fails due to the fact that the default crypto policy does not allow TLS 1.1. In this next example, we're going to create an entire new custom policy, and we're going to use the default.pol file as a template, and we're going to copy that into Etsy crypto policies slash policies slash custom.pol, as you can see here on the screen. Next, we'll run a man crypto dash policies, and we'll take a look at the man page that shows the custom policy definition file format. This part of the man page explains the syntax for the policy files and also covers the available keys that you can use within these policy files. It also covers the syntax you can use in the policy modifiers using the minus list item, plus list item, or list item plus syntax. Next we're going to edit the custom.pol file that we created based on the default pol file. We'll go ahead and scroll down here and what we're going to do is add in TLS 1.1 under the protocol key and then we're going to set the min TLS version to TLS 1.1 because in this example what we'd like to do is have our custom policy allow TLS 1.1. We'll then go ahead and set the crypto policy to our new custom policy and again normally you'd want to reboot the server but in this example we're just going to restart Apache and then at this point we're going to go ahead and rerun the same curl command that we used previously specifying TLS 1.1 and you can see now with our custom crypto policy, it works this time. In this video, we covered the methods you can use to customize the system-wide crypto policies in RHEL 8.2, including defining a custom policy modifier or creating an entire custom policy. Thanks a lot for watching the video. 